Hello there and thank you for watching the next video of web penetration testing with Kali Linux. In this section we're going to talk about creating a test lab environment using Kali Linux. So in the first video we're going to talk about software and hardware requirements for this test lab. To be able to build a test lab environment you're going to need a physical machine, whether it is a laptop or a workstation, doesn't really matter, with minimum of Windows 7 or 10 on, installed on the top of it. It could be 32-bit or 64-bit, but it is recommended to go with 64-bit and minimum of 8 gig of memory and 200 gig of hard drive. We're going to download and install Oracle VirtualBox on the top of this Windows machine to set up some virtualization. We're going to download Kali Linux VirtualBox image or OVF file and install on the top of VirtualBox. And we're going to install a, a vulnerable application called Dam Vulnerable Web Application or DVWA to basically use as part of these training and show you how vulnerabilities on web applications look like and how we can basically secure them. So first thing first, if you browse to Oracle website, you can go to Oracle VirtualBox section and basically download the application from there and install. So it's a pretty straightforward process. I'm not going to go through it here, but that's the first thing you got to do. You can download Kali Linux from Kali.org. So um, from Kali.org, you can basically download the ISO file. But if you really want to get the VirtualBox uh, customized version, you can get it from the offensive security uh, website, which you can see in the on the screen here. So this is Kali website when you want to download uh, VirtualBox edition is actually taking you to offensive security, which I have it here. So you can basically go and download the VirtualBox image from here. And it is just a matter of importing that image to your VirtualBox. With regards to DVWA, so if you do a Google search on DVWA, you will probably see this website. Um, we don't want to download from here because if you download from here, uh, it's just giving you the application and then you obviously need to install it on the top of a Linux machine, which might be a bit of a headache for you. An easier way to do this is just to go to vulnhop.com website or vulnerablehop.com and you can simply download the ISO version of DVWA there and get it installed on your Kali machine as a virtual machine. So it's a simple, a straightforward process to install this, which would include an operating system as well as application. So everything is done already for you. You don't have to really reinstall the application manually. So with that said, next video, we're going to talk about diagram and design of our test environment. Thank you for watching this video and I will be with you on the next one.